There are 23 of them that actually do the work of writing the history. And they don't write it like they go in a book and write down, uh, this is the way it's going to be 5,000 years from now, 10,000 years. We're just making something up. And we'll put some abracadabra on it and say, let it be. No, these are scientists who can listen to the thinking of the people. They listen to your thinking. Then they multiply your thinking and show what your thinking will produce in actual events. And what these events will produce in men that will shape these events and men that will come out of these events to do this and this and this. And before you know it, they've written the history of the entire nation. One time I was with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and somebody asked him, well, how can they see that far? He said, do you see this pen? Can you see this pen? Yes, sir. How many pens do I have? One. Okay. Can you see two pens? No, sir. Come on now. This pen is what you can see with your mind's eye. Can you multiply this pen and see two? Can you see three? Yes, sir. Can you see four? Yes, sir. All you had to do was start with one, yes, then all you do is keep multiplying and you can see as many as you wish to see. What makes you able to say to your boy, boy, if you keep that up, this is gonna happen to you. You ain't no prophet. What were you using? Come on. Mathematics. You were multiplying his action and his thoughts. And you can see what those thoughts and those actions were going to lead to. And you can predict events that's going to take place in the child's life. And you say, boy, you better watch yourself. Huh? Well, if you can do it on your little level. What do you think the holy wise scientists can do who can listen to populations think and know what their thoughts will produce and write the history that we call Bible or Quran for 25,000 years into the future and when a portion of that book is to be revealed one of the major scientists either in a vision or a dream or they come directly to the person or the prophet that is to correct the situation and give them a piece of the writing called scripture. These books are written in advance of what happens. And they're not written by people who don't see. These people who write Bible and Quran, they know what's going to happen. And you can't make them liars, they can see. All right, now listen to me well, it's very important. Everybody all right? Yes, sir. I'm trying to move as fast as I know how. But covering the point, I'm coming to something very significant. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad says, when the scientists went out and sampled the thinking of the people, they saw that in the year 8,400 of this present cycle, a man would be born named Yaqub. Born with a determined idea to make a new people. On this earth, a new people that would be strange and different from any people that had ever been on this planet before. And that this people that he would make would rule with a contrary civilization that would wreak havoc on the earth. And when they brought their findings back to Allah, the judge, he looked at it. He could have said, we don't want this. He said, let it be. Why are you going to allow all this suffering? Because it's going to manifest human nature to its fullest and it will test the people under evil to see whether evil is as productive in their lives as good. So that at the end of this experiment, each of them 
will know that evil is not the way that they should go, but you must choose righteousness. And the only way you will choose righteousness voluntarily is that you must suffer enough under evil, but the evil that you see in operation Ultimately, you must come to know that it springs from your self. And then, not only will you call for the destruction of this evil world, but you will call for the destruction of the evil in yourself that this is the manifestation of. Then you are ready to be made whole, perfect. Yaqub was not wicked. Yaqub was born with a determined idea. Stop right there. Determined past participle. If he was born, he didn't determine the idea. <laughs> so the man had nothing to do with it. So what the hell are you blaming Yaqub for? Somebody bigger than Yaqub had determined that he was the one to be born out of the dissatisfaction of the masses. 30% of them were dissatisfied to bring about a change that would affect the entire earth. So a child was born genetically prepared to do a work that would shake the entire world. His name was Yaqub, a black scientist. And that young boy at six years old saw as he was playing in the sand with two pieces of metal, he saw one attracting the other under its power. And he said, when I grow up, I'm going to make a people unalike who will attract the original and rule it. Before he was 18 years old, or at 18, he finished all the schools of his day. And he studied biology, genetics, and he discovered in the germ of the black man that he could produce color. We don't call you colored. We call you black, the essence of all color. And at one time, there was no brown. There was no red. There was no yellow. There was just us, the original people. Now you say, well, I don't believe that. How old are the Chinese? Tell me what their calendars say. How old are the Japanese? Tell me what their calendars say. They're not but a little over 6,000 years old. The Indian, the people that you call Indians, they are not the brown man. They're not the yellow man. They are the so-called red man, but they're not red. They're original people. They predated all these other races on the earth. They and us are original people. Well, how long have we been here? Well, we don't have no calendar. You don't go among the Indians and ask them, where's your calendar giving us your birth? He said, I don't know. I've just been here. <laughs> with the earth, with Mother Earth and Father Sky. <laughs> I've just been here. Where's your birth record, black man? I don't know. I've no birth record for me ever since I came into consciousness. I was here and before me there was me. The sun don't show my beginning because I am a people that was before there was a sun. Right. Before there was a moon and a star, I, the black man, was. And I am, and I shall be. There's no end to me. I am from the beginning, from God. I am his first act of creation. But I was imperfect. And he put me in the process of perfection. Therefore, I had to experience everything of myself to have a complete and thorough knowledge of myself. Because only when I know myself perfectly and completely can I be made whole and from me a perfect heaven, a new heaven, and a new earth that has no ending. 
will come into existence, but I must be made perfect. Hashem. So Allah said that in the beginning, that I would be perfect, we would be perfect, but we didn't know the process. There was a lot of pain involved, a lot of death involved, but all of that death served the process of life because it gave us a greater knowledge of truth and understanding of self and understanding of God. And so, in the Quran, listen Muslims, God is talking to the angels. And he said to the angels, I'm going to place a ruler in the earth. Yes, sir. And the angels start talking back to God. What are you going to place in it except that which will create mischief and cause the shedding of blood? We extol your holiness. We know you're holy. We know you're righteous. But why would you do a thing like this? He said, I know what you know not. Let it be. So the humble Elijah Muhammad said, a white man was grafted from you. He's called a sucker. Come on. Now I'm not being vulgar. He's a sucker. Yes, sir. What is a sucker? Something that has no root in itself. No root. So you cut into a tree that is sucking from the earth and you graft the shoot into the tree and then it sucks from the life of the tree to make its own life. Paul said, come on, come on. Paul said, you should not boast against these, for you were a wild olive branch crafted in among the original. This is the white man. He not natural. He was grafted into a people that were already here, and all the life that he got, he sucked it from you and me and our father. Talk back to me. 